Let's talk about the importance of vitamin C and something called a subclinical vitamin C deficiency. Now, you may have heard the term scurvy before, which is a very serious vitamin C deficiency. Another term for that is called classical vitamin C deficiency. But subclinical is that you have some vitamin C, but you don't have the full amount. Now, what does vitamin C do? Well, mainly it works as an antioxidant, okay, protecting against uh, free radical damage. It has a real big important purpose in collagen growth and repair. I'm talking about connective tissue, ligaments, tendons, uh, fascia, cartilage, all the things related to your joints. It's also necessary to make noradrenaline. And when you're low in noradrenaline, you're just not awake. You're tired all the time. It's also necessary in the function of carnitine, which has to do with delivering fat to the mitochondria, the furnace to burn fat. So fat oxidation. So if you're low in vitamin C, you're not going to get the full fat oxidation to make energy. Also, your white blood cells, part of the immune system, are saturated with vitamin C. So if you don't have enough vitamin C, your immune system cannot work. When you have a very severe deficiency, as in scurvy, uh, you have wounds that won't heal. You'll get gingivitis, inflammation of the gums. You'll get perifollicular hemorrhage. Now, what is that? Uh, that is uh, the little red dots on the follicles on your skin. It could be in your butt. It could be certain places in your body. That's a vitamin C deficiency. Uh, fatigue, uh, red purple blotches, similar to spider veins, but you, sometimes you see them on the lower leg. You'll see them very commonly with diabetics. And there's a lot of other symptoms as well. Now, how do you get vitamin C? These are the foods that have a lot of vitamin C. Uh, papaya, which I don't recommend. Kiwi, which I don't recommend. Mm -hmm bell pepper, which I do recommend, leafy greens, a lot of other vegetables are loaded with vitamin C, berries, cruciferous vegetables. And in addition to this, a lot of times people take a supplement. Uh, just make sure that your supplement is not synthetic. Make sure it's food-based. This is a really good source of vitamin C, acerola cherry, uh, which is very different than the regular cherries that you would eat, but this is loaded with vitamin C. So in addition to getting your vitamin C from food, there's things that will block or inhibit vitamin C absorption. Uh, smoking will inhibit vitamin C in your body. If you're pregnant, the need for vitamin C goes way up. As you get older and you age, your vitamin C goes down. So you need more vitamin C for repair. Why? Because it's an antioxidant. Also, overtraining with exercise can inhibit your vitamin C. And this is interesting too. When you eat sugar, you compete with vitamin C. So you will not be able to absorb vitamin C if you're consuming sugar and if you're diabetic and you have high levels of sugar. That's going to block your ability to absorb vitamin C. All right, guys, there's more to know about vitamin C. Check out these videos on this page. I'll see you next time.